In this video, I'll show you how to edit a PDF file. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like as well, as it helps get this video to more people. Now, please do watch this video right until the end as well, so the full steps of downloading the correct program and then using the program to go and edit your PDF. So, with any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. I'm now on my computer and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So, the PDF file I want to go and edit and open is this one here. It's called PDF Example. So, I'm going to right click on it and go and open it up into Google Chrome and just prove I can't already edit it. I'll zoom in a bit as well. So as you can see, here is the text, says PDF example, exclamation test. If I click here, I can't edit it at all as you can see. So we're gonna go and edit this. So to do this, we're gonna go and need a specific program. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up a search browser. So I personally use Google Chrome. So come to the bottom bar where here it is. Open it up and then come to a search engine. I'm using Google. Now, just before we go to the website to download this software, I do recommend that you do keep watching the video as I'm showing you exactly how to use it and then go and save the file afterwards as well. So it's gonna be really, really useful that you keep watching. All we want to do is type in Lieb or Libra, so L-I-B-R-E, and then go and type in Office just like so, and it'll look something like this. And you want to make sure you come to the official website, which is Libra Office. So come here, it looks like LibreOffice.org, and all you want to do is come to download just here, and you want to click on download, and it has got some previous versions as well, but of course I recommend downloading the most up-to-date version, and there'll probably be a newer version when you watch this video. And then on the right, you can go and change the operating system. I'm on a Windows 64 bit, so I'm gonna go for that one. Then you want to go and click the download button, and then it's gonna go and drop it down here. As you can see, it's 300 megabytes. So what you want to do is wait for this to fully finish downloading. It may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. And then you want to go and simply install it just like any other software. So I'll catch up with you once you've gone and installed it. So once you have gone and installed it, the next thing you want to do is go and open it up. So of course, come down to the search icon and go and search for Libra or Leave Office, just like so. And it looks something like Libra Office Writer. So click on it and it may take a minute or two to load as you can see, here we go. And then once it opens, I'm just gonna resize this so you can fully see everything I'm doing. Then all you want to do is go to the top where it says file up here. Then you want to go and click on open. Now make sure you do know where the PDF file you're trying to open is. Personally, mine's on my desktop, so I'm gonna be able to easily locate this in the software. So back to LibreOffice and then go and click on File and go and Open. And then it's gonna go and take you to your desktop. That's where I currently am, so I want this one. And I'm gonna go and click on PDF Example. So I'm gonna click once and then go and click on Open. And it's gonna take a minute to load and I have to resize this once again. But if you look, we can actually go and edit it. So I'm gonna zoom in a minute. But as you can see up here, I can then click here and I can start editing it. So I can go and remove test A and add hey, like so. And then once you're happy with the changes you have made, you want to go to the top left where it says file. Now if you go and click on save as, it's only gonna allow you to save it as the Lieb Office file. So you want to go and click on export as, and then you can go and export it as a PDF and then you can go and send that on to other people or use it for yourself. So go and click export as PDF. And then you can go and have all of these settings here. I'm just gonna go and click export like so. And then you can go and change the name of this. I'm just gonna add one, just to show you uh, as an example. And there we go. I'm now gonna minimize this and let's go and take a look at it. So now I'm gonna right click on it here and let's go and open it up in Chrome. And just like so, that is our new version. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button, leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one, peace.